What's up, Haunters, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at the most hated Spirit Halloween animatronics of 2024 and talk about if they're really that bad of animatronics. So, let's get into it. And welcome back to the channel everyone hopefully you're having a good day so like i mentioned today we're talking about the most hated spirit halloween animatronics of 2024 and talk about if they're really that bad of animatronics or if they're actually kind of good and the four animatronics we're going to be covering today are of course barnaby the bear bobby streams the cremator and of course night terror and now of course let's get started with the most hated animatronic of the year we've of course got night terror and night terror here there are a bunch of reasons why people dislike him one of the reasons of course is the animation another thing is the audio Another thing is just that he overall looks cheap, and the last thing is that he's overall just made cheap. And for these points, is it actually something bad about the animatronic? Well, first of all, talking about the animation, I definitely agree it's not the best animation we've ever had. It's this just head bobbing animation, which just looks a bit goofy, and a lot of Sunstar and Jemmy animatronics have used it in the past. And even though the animation is kind of stupid, for this guy, I don't think it's the worst animation they could have done because he's supposed to be this more goofier funnier animatronic i think the head animation definitely kind of adds to that and another thing a lot of people hate about this guy is of course that audio which i definitely have to agree it's not the best audio we've ever gone it just sounds a bit weird just the way he laughs and everything i know they tried to make it a more like childish animatronic rather than a creepy voiced one but Honestly, the audio isn't the greatest, so I definitely agree that that could have been done a bit better. And then the last couple points, which a lot of people complain about, is of course that he looks cheap and is made cheap. And honestly, even though he does look like a cheaper animatronic, he is supposed to be a more cheaper animatronic. Because keep in mind, this guy's supposed to be a more budget-friendly animatronic coming at only $100. So they definitely cheaped out about making this guy give him just the one pull support him and then the Christmas tree base and then just giving him an overall cheaper look. But still, I honestly have got to say for this guy, I don't think he deserves all the hate. He's definitely not one of the strongest animatronics for this year, but I don't think he's one that I would overall say is a bad animatronic because for a cheaper price, he is a decent budget animatronic. So overall, this guy, does he deserve the hate? I would say no. And now let's move on to the next animatronic, which is the Cremator. So the Cremator here is another animatronic that I've seen a lot of people complain about just being a bad animatronic. And for this guy, I think one of the biggest things that really made this guy a disappointing one was originally when Spirit Halloween released the names, the Cremator sound like this really cool name for an animatronic and people had big expectations and then spirit halloween just gave us this more weaker animatronic but still i don't think it's the worst and definitely the biggest complaint people have about this is that it's just a static animatronic and it could have been way more which i don't necessarily agree with that like not every animatronic has to have these crazy animations or crazy features sometimes an animatronic they can just make it a static and can still be cool like even though the cremator doesn't move he still has a pretty cool feature which is that flame effect which is really cool it kind of looks like his insides are on fire which looks really creepy and in my opinion definitely makes up for him not having any animation still i understand why lots of people are hating on this guy just because it's not what we expected and he doesn't really have any animation or anything but still i think he's a really great animatronic and definitely does not deserve the hate he's really cool he has that awesome flame effect and Overall, this guy would definitely be one that I would pick up if I could find him on November 1st. Anyways, let's move on now to Barnaby the Bear. So yes, Barnaby is on this list, which is kind of surprising, but in doing research for this video, I saw a lot of haunters surprisingly talking about how this guy is just not that great of an animatronic, which was definitely really surprising because I thought he was a great animatronic for this year, but the biggest complaints I saw about this guy was, one, he is just 
too expensive. And the other reason is that he's just not scary at all. First of all, talking about him being overpriced. This, I definitely agree on. It seems like Spirit's prices are just all over the place this year. Like, Barnaby here, he's coming at a price of $280, which is crazy. Getting up to, like, the $300 animatronics, these are usually some of their, like, biggest ones, like, six, seven foot, and ones that feature crazy animation. But for Barnaby here, he really only features the one animation and is not even six foot tall. I think he's, like, five and a half feet or something so for this guy to be 280 dollars just seems like an insane price like this guy should be priced instead at 230 dollars it feels 280 definitely very expensive and that definitely kind of brings down this animatronic so even though i agree with the first point the second point about this guy i just don't really agree with at all and that point of course is that he is not scary at all I don't feel like an animatronic not being scary has to make it one of the worst animatronics of the year because an animatronic can still be cool without being really scary because even though they're Halloween animatronics, not all of them have to be these really creepy guys or whatever. Now, I definitely agree with what some people are saying where he could have used some more blood or something. That would have been cool, but even for something like that, you could add that on yourself and... Honestly, I feel like he doesn't really need anything like that. Like, he looks cool. He definitely has that creepier face on there and everything. And it definitely would have been creepier if he was bigger. But I definitely think that the point that he is just not scary doesn't really make him a bad animatronic. So Barnaby here, does he deserve the hate? I would definitely say no for this. He does not deserve the hate. He's a really cool animatronic and... Really, the strongest point going for him is that he's too expensive, but even for that, he's still a great animatronic. And now, of course, moving on to the last animatronic we'll be talking about today. We've, of course, got Bobby Streams, which this guy is definitely another one that a lot of people are hating on. And some of the biggest reasons I've seen for this guy, for people hating on it, is definitely a little bit of the price. And I've also seen people hate on him for his audio. And again, with this guy just not being an overall scary animatronic. And that first point for this guy saying that he's too expensive, I think is more of an outdated thing about this guy. Because originally when people saw it was going to be $310, they thought it was crazy because everyone thought it would be way smaller than it ended up being. And Home Depot, of course, released their Marinette Witch for only $100. But after seeing this guy in person, everything, he's way bigger than me and a lot of other haunters expected so i think the overpriced thing isn't like too much in effect anymore i think it's reasonably priced um another one of the things that i did mention though is of course the audio which a lot of people are hating on people are saying like oh it reminds me of bobby streams how he had that like lame child audio or something and for this guy i don't feel like it's on the same level as johnny punk you know like Johnny Punk's audio wasn't only bad just because of the voice actor or whatever. It's also just the lines sucked. But for Bobby Streams here, I think the lines they chose for him are pretty good. Now, I know lots of people are like, oh, it's not that scary and it doesn't sound spooky. But it's supposed to be this little puppet boy that sounds like Pinocchio. Like, you can't really expect the voice to be that creepy since it's just supposed to be, like, Pinocchio but a bit creepier and that last point I mentioned for this guy is again with this guy a lot of people I've seen said that he's just not that creepy of an animatronic and similar to what I said for Barnaby the bear I don't think an animatronic not being like super scary really makes it a bad animatronic because animatronics they don't have to look creepy like they can just be big like Bobby Strains here he's really big which definitely makes him creepier and you know, like, again, with this guy, they could have added blood, but it's not like every single animatronic each year has to be this really scary animatronic. Some animatronics like this can still be big and, like, somewhat creepy without being too creepy. So, for this guy, again, with that point, I don't think it's, like, too strong of a point to hate this guy. So, of course, again, for Bobby here, I don't think he deserves the hate, and... Pretty much all four of the animatronics on this list, I don't think they deserve the hate. Definitely there's stuff that people dislike about them, but 
honestly, in my opinion, even though there's some stuff to dislike about these guys, I think they're still decent animatronics, and I don't think they deserve to be hated. I think they deserve to be more just like lesser good animatronics for this year, but ones that aren't necessarily bad. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you, of course, have any problems with what I said or different opinions, definitely comment down below. I always like to hear your thoughts on different things. And hopefully you did enjoy it. It's a bit of a different video that I've never done before, but I just thought I'd do this because a lot of these animatronics see people hang on. I don't think they're the worst we've ever gone. Anyways, that's it for today. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.